You are listening to the Call to Action podcast, where we aim to inspire, educate, and inform entrepreneurs and self-starters on tech and tips related to navigating this ever-changing world. Obasi David is from Nigeria and is a man of various skills. He is an illustrator, graphic designer, somewhat counselor, network and systems engineer, a writer, and an entrepreneur that runs a small IT solution company. He also runs a blog called Off World Tales and is a published author. Listen in as he shares what inspired him to write, how he markets his blog, as well as how he is able to blend genres when writing. Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to episode 31 of the Call to Action podcast. I am your host, Shantae, and today we are having a fireside chat with Obasi David, who is from Nigeria and is an illustrator, graphic designer, and entrepreneur. Before we bring our guest onto the show, I would like to share a little bit of information about the previous episode of the Call to Action podcast. And as always, it is a must listen. And also I wanna talk about the inspirational quote that I chose for today also. If you missed episode 30 of the Call to Action podcast, again, as always, it is a must listen. I had the opportunity to have a fireside chat with Okan Ukeme Cornelius Dominic. Okan Ukeme Cornelius Dominic is a published author and host of the Word Chef podcast. In that episode, Okan shares what inspired him to start writing poetry, as well as advice for other writers. And there is also a bonus treat in that episode that you will have to hear. So make sure you go back and check it out at ctamarketing.biz. When you get there, click on podcast on the main menu to access that podcast as well as past episodes. The inspirational quote that I chose for this episode is actually from Albert Einstein. And here is the inspirational quote that I chose for episode 31 of the Call to Action podcast. The true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. I got to read that one one more time because to me that was very deep. The true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one and that you can find a space where that resonates with you. Now, let's get into today's episode because we have another writer on today's episode. And as I mentioned before in the intro, our guest for today is Obasi David, all the way from Nigeria. So, David, welcome to the Call to Action podcast. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. Now, David, I know that you do a lot. Like I already know you said you're a graphic designer and you have your own business, which I think is awesome. It takes a special spirit to be an entrepreneur. I I do know that myself. Now, what I want to know is what is your superpower? Let's let the listeners know more about David. So tell us your superpower. Uh, let's see. Uh, when it comes to superpower, I'm not quite sure I can actually call it one. I would just say I'm more like a, like an embodiment of mystery. Uh, things I do just comes like that. I think that's the reason why I'm able to blend with uh, the people I meet. And that gives me the ideas or it gives me more... more puts me on track on the stories and things I do. So it's more like a mystery box. Today you see this, tomorrow you see the next. So I'll, I'll just simply say I'm just an embodiment of mystery. Oh, so you said, That's I like you said you're a mystery? Yeah, it's a mystery. It's just a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. We all know that you've written some books, um, including one that is on Amazon called A Way Out. Now, when did you know that you wanted to write? Yeah, um, it's quite a long story, actually. Um, I wrote my first book 
in grade school. It was more like a folk tale. And I kind of started writing because families and people around me were like, that's not uh, what you should be focused on engineering, being a doctor or a lawyer and stuff like that. So I actually stopped. But then what actually brought me back into writing was there was a time I was in my darkest moments, actually. I was going through some bad times and I was alone and not many people actually wanted to help. So I was just left there in the cold. Oh. And I was actually contemplating suicide. So there was a, a, a note I wrote, actually, and I put it on WhatsApp. And I don't know, I don't know, it just came up. Someone just saw it and thought it was a story I was right because I was actually expressing myself in that short note. So it was like, wow, this story is good. Can you finish it up? So I need to read it. And I put it on WhatsApp. And I don't know, I don't know, it just came up. Someone just saw it and thought it was a story I was right because I was actually expressing myself in that short note. So it was like, wow, this story is good. Can you finish it up? So I need to read it. I'm like, uh, okay, but why it's not? He said, but it's good, it's good. That people, his friends that actually saw it liked it and they actually wanted to know what ha- actually happened in the end of the story. It was more like, it was like a poetry kind of a mixture, a mix of poetry and uh, normal story and I think that actually brought back the spark and I finished it up and the story was actually called the king and the dragon that was the very first story I put on my blog and that's that story is the most it's more like the most special of them all it actually has more meaning for me So from there, I just kept on writing. I I write on horror. I wrote on uh, comedy, murder mystery, and uh, suspense crime. And then some of my friends, uh, okay, one of my friends actually, she asked me if I could write romance. (laughs) I was like, "Uh, nah, I'm not into such stuff. And she dared me that if I could write horror, I could write crime. Why not? <laughs> Why not romance? I'm like, Ugh. yeah. Apart from all the whole hallmark uh, kind of thing and whatnot, I work. Oh, fine, fine, I'll do it. So I wrote one called uh, "The People Love Story" about uh, some. D- Actually, the story was I wrote was real fun. Normally, I, it takes me two minutes to think of a story. If I look, I can watch maybe people passing by, a story hit me. I can watch a movie or listen to the music and the story will just come up. This one, actually, I was watching a music video and there was a song on my phone, actually, before I actually saw the music video. It was a love song, actually. And uh, the music video even made it worse because it talked about uh, paper planes and, yeah, the story now started getting into shape. Even though part of me didn't want to write it, but well, a day is a day. And I had to now <laughs> upload my end of <laughs> I put it on my head. So you can imagine when she actually read, she was like, wow, you actually wrote this. I'm like, yeah, after forcing me to do that. And just like that, I actually incorporated romance into my <laughs> line of books I write. So I actually have dark romance. I have romance. Even the ones I'm, the ones I'm supposed to publish tomorrow, uh, Lovers End. It's a mix of That's romance and horror. But, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, romance and there's like two different ends of the spectrum yeah, coming together. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can imagine that. I, actually, I was having a chat with a friend on, uh, on Twitter and she was like... Uh, Romance, horror, horror, romance. I'm like, is that even a thing? Uh, it doesn't even sound like a thing. The two don't have actually have any thing in common other than 
this is more of the lovey dovey side and this is to scare people. So, oh well, you can create something new out of something. Now, let me ask you this. Now, I know that you write, and as I mentioned before, you're a graphics designer. And, you know, tell us what other things do you do besides writing? Besides those two, I know I mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually deliver service actually to clients, to my clients, wherever they are. So I, I'm actually focused on, apart from graphics, we do app development, we do web design, we do networking, uh, we even have help desk for people that actually have issues with their systems. I offer help desk to them. I sell gift cards and uh, copywriting as well. So I write um, articles and textbooks for kids. And so apart from that, I also fix systems as well. Software, hardware related, Mac, Windows, Linux, I fix them all. David, thank you so much for sharing information about your blog and your books and your inspiration for writing, as well as your IT business. So as far as upcoming writers or aspiring authors, what advice would you give to them? What I can actually say is don't give up on your dreams. No matter how silly, no matter how awkward, no matter how weird it might be, don't ever give up on that dream if it, since it's your passion your passion is something that is it's you without passion you you're just essentially walking along the earth doing things that you're not that you don't derive joy from if you can't find happiness in something then what's the point so no matter what people say about your writing it might have errors yes it might not look, uh, it might not sound good to some people. Yes, but that doesn't mean you should stop writing. You might hit your first writer's block. Yes, but the thing is, sit back, take a breather, get right back into the horse and ride it away. You're not supposed to, uh, how would I put it? You're not supposed to do things that will make, uh, or please other people because you're trying to look good in front of them. You're trying to make yourself happy. And if writing is your is you, is your calling, then don't stop yourself short. Do it and do it well. I love it. That's what I, I love say. it. And I like what you said about not giving up on your dreams. And then also not trying to please other people. I feel that same thing, like even with my podcast is... I do it because I enjoy doing it. <laughs> so people liking it <laughs> is a benefit, but I do it because I enjoy doing it and I enjoy helping people. And I love hearing the stories of other people. And I've said this before in other shows, but the thing is for me, I feel like we all can learn something from one another and hearing your story and how you got started and you took something wow. as serious that you were going through and you wrote that and put it on social media and someone was like, hey, wait, that's a good story. I mean, and that triggered you to start writing. You know what I mean? It's like, that's a very unique story. And I, I love doing these because I do get unique stories. And I love hearing them. And I always can get inspired. I do. I get inspired because I feel like everybody has something to share. We all came here and we all have our unique journeys. But when we come together, that's what makes it even more beautiful because we're learning from each other, you know, and it's just, I think it's great. I think it's great. Do you do any marketing for your blog or for your um, books or anything? Or do you, how do you get people to know about your writings? It's what I just simply do is uh, on Instagram and Twitter, I just uh, put up a, a link and uh, hashtag most of the genres that I write. So that actually gets people to see them, follow me, and then go straight to the blog. The tunnel might not be so much, but <laughs> for me, it's just me letting my soul out there 
someone has actually seen it and someone will go right there to read it. So once I'm, I know that once someone reads it, I'm glad. It doesn't really matter if there's, if there's no huge crowd following or uh, not much people are seeing it out there. Like marketing, I don't really do much of it. I just post on Facebook, post on Instagram, post. Actually, that is marketing. That's that's how you market in your business, David. <laughs> so doing this social media with out. the hashtag, no, that's Mostly. that's definitely a that's form of marketing. It and it works because it does get your word out. We met on Twitter because, you know, that's a form of marketing. I saw your, I should think it, you saw my post or one of us, we saw each other's post and now we're doing a show together. So it worked. <laughs> I guess it did, yeah. I guess it did. <laughs> See? Uh-huh. <laughs> So now that everyone has uh, heard all this great information about you, they're going to want to know how they can learn more about you. So share with the audience how they can contact you. Okay. Uh, They can contact me via my email. That's um, davidabase52 at gmail.com. Or they can check out my uh, writings at... uh, offwardtales.wordpress.com or they can follow me on Instagram the Offward Tales or it's on Facebook as well the same Offward Tales uh, my stories will take you out of this world when you read them it will keep you entertained, it will keep you smiling to keep you guessing and to keep you wanting more I don't think there's any extra unless they want to check out my business which is um, XT underscore Nexus underscore nine. That's a XT Nexus nine or Expresso Technical on Facebook. On Instagram is XT underscore Nexus underscore nine. On Facebook is Expresso Technical or Expresso Technical Nexus nine. That's for my business. In case you want to help with your systems or you want to make an inquiry. You want to ask questions on how to maintain, to fix, to do something with your system, software, hardware related, Mac, Windows, name it. I'll be there to answer your call. Unless you want to read my stories, then off what tells it is. Then if you want to ask me questions directly, you can go straight to my email, which is like I'll say again, davidobasti52 at gmail.com. Sounds good. So, yeah. That's about All right. It. Well, thank you, David. Thank you so much for being a guest on the Call to Action podcast. And I hope that you enjoyed doing the fireside chat with me. <laughs> I sure did. I sure awesome. did. Very good. Very good. <laughs> so I enjoyed having you yeah. on the show as well. I really do appreciate you coming on and sharing your story with us and just sharing information about you. I think it's really good, again, for us to connect and for people to connect with one another. And you just, you never know. You're all the way across the world in Nigeria. I'm all the way in the U.S. And here we are having a wonderful conversation and that people can learn from. (laughs) I think it's awesome. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it really is. It really is. So everyone else, I want to thank you for joining me on the Call to Action podcast, and also to remember the quote that I shared earlier from Albert Einstein. I'm going to read it one more time, and here it is. The true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. So everyone, enjoy your day, and I look forward to connecting with you all on the next episode of the Call to Action podcast. Until next time. Thank you for joining me on this episode of the Call to Action podcast. Make sure to visit me at ctamarketing.biz. There you can find articles for entrepreneurs and self-starters on tech and tips related to navigating this ever-changing world. Until next time.